Hey, how you doing? Adrian here from bestformyfeet.com. How you doing today? Welcome to this video in which we're gonna cut my DeWalt Newark steel toe boots. Yes, maybe DeWalt are not the best choice or at least not the first choice uh, of footwear when you think about safety, food, uh, safety work boots. But let me tell you that these bad boys come with uh, a lot of good features that you like to see in any work boot and before I go ahead and cut this boot here are a few more details about this particular model it is called Newark the color is that my color is brown there's uh, uh, a color black as well if you're interested uh, steel toe cap it weighs about two tons plus sorry not two tons two pounds plus the upper of this boot is made of full grain leather the boot also come with a anti-scuff toe guard made of TPU and a lot more uh, I'm gonna leave you a link in the description to the review article that I made about this boot and the video as well if you want to check those out this video is intended only for us to cut this boot in half and see what's going on inside why is so comfortable because many people including myself were very happy with how comfortable this boot is right out of the box you don't need to uh, oil it you don't need to uh, do any crazy things in order to break it in you just put it on and straight to work Okay, so I could not cut through the steel toe cap of this boot. It seems like I need to uh, up my game a little bit in this area for the next time I cut steel toe boots. I'll make sure to have better blades. Uh, having said that, let's look at what's inside this DeWalt Newark boot. So let's check out the upper a little bit. Uh, we're looking at the water membrane right now. Um, there's there's a name for this. I forgot the name right now. The heel counter on this boot is made of fiberboard or cardboard or something very cheap. But um, it doesn't matter that much since we have this TPU guard at the back of the heel that serves as reinforcement to keep the shape of the boot and also to provide you comfort when you're walking by keeping your heel in place. This waterproof membrane is about 75 mil uh, high or equivalent of 3 inches and as long as your waterproof membrane is not punctured like you can see mine has a huge hole where the pinky toe is that's because of the friction between the pinky toe and the membrane that caused this hole um, so as long as you don't have any holes in the membrane you can rest assured that your feet are going to uh, stay dry even if you have cracks in the leather as you can see in this 
particular case. The outsole it's a multi-layered outsole. The first one you see is the uh, TPU, which is the hard part of the uh, outsole. Then you have this PU uh, midsole, which makes it kind of foamy, and that's what provides you the cushion that you need, and that what absorbs the shocks. And then in the midsole we have this steel plate that protects you from uh, you know nails screws and other things that can penetrate the sole this goes from the heel all the way to the toe cap as you can see and it's as wide as the footbed is Okay, so the first thing I took out is the hydro guard lining. This is the waterproof membrane that's also breathable. Then we have the leather that's one almost one mil thick. I would like to see uh, a thickness of at least two millimeters in work boots, but that's what you get with this Dewalt uh, work boot. Also, I promised that we're gonna have a look at the midsole in uh, this boot, the steel midsole uh, plate that's uh, anti-puncture and uh, it saves you from you know nails and screws and other things that can puncture your feet and leave you injured for a few days in terms of comfort you also have this uh, 6.5 millimeters thick uh, polyurethane midsole it's not the best out there but um, it's quite comfortable to be honest so if you want to save some money you don't have to spend extra money on inserts at least for the first uh, two or three months also if you're wondering if you can rebuild this boot um, it's gonna be kind of tough as you can see the boot is not uh, good year welted it's just a cemented sole type of construction where the upper is um, glued to the mid to the sole and to the midsole and uh, there's not much you can do once it breaks it's pretty much done you just have to buy another one anyway i hope this was helpful let me know in the comments below if i've missed anything or if you have anything to add also remember to go to bestformyfeet.com if you want to read more uh, if you want to read the review about this boot or check out the video review uh, whatever you prefer thanks for watching i'm adrian from bestformyfeet.com see you in the next video Thank you.